Sorry, sweetie. I will uh, have him sign the papers tonight. Then tomorrow you'll have your money, okay? And I promise you, you'll get your money tomorrow. I love you. What is it? You know that what you're doing is not fair. Excuse me? Your husband is lying down on the road, fighting for his life. The least you can do is at least be faithful for the remainder of the time he has left. So that at least when he dies, he will think that he had you. Who are you to tell me what to do? Millicent, who are you to tell me what to do in my own house? Who are you? Let's just, let's get something straight here. I am your employer and you, my employee. So you don't have the right to tell me what to do and not to do in my own house. Get that straight. I'm sorry, but I just thought that I'd talk to you like a sister. My conscience couldn't take it any- Oh, you just shut up. Keep quiet. Fuck you and damn the consequences. What is this? I don't pay you to think with your conscience. I pay you to take care of my decaying husband. And that's what you are going to do, because that's your job. I'm sorry, ma. It won't happen again. Let it not happen again. Because this is the last thing that I want to hear. It's the last thing I want to see around my house. Gossip! Let it end today. Back to your job. I'm sorry, ma. That shouldn't happen again because I don't need all this gossip around my house. That's the last thing that I want to see right now. That's the last thing I want to hear and I gotta get out! Get out! Sorry. What is this? Telling me what to do in my house? This got to stop. Then we charge God with evil. But if God is the ultimate cause of all things, there we charge him with evil. And not all his gifts good, perfect, and helpful. How can God be good when he permits or does things that seem so destructive and hurtful to human beings? Surely if we had the power to prevent an earthquake, if we could have stopped the tsunami, we could have done so. Think of the children who become orphans when a natural disaster strikes, as well as the new widows, the depleted resources, and the fresh graves. Is God to be blamed? Yes. What is going on with my wife lately? Mm. My wife. She's a bit different now. You know, she used to pop in here once in a while. around, check to see how I'm doing. But things are a bit different and I'm wondering if you knew what the problem was. Um, maybe she's busy. My wife does not work. I may not be capable to run my company right now because of my condition, but I assure you, 
that even in this position that I make enough to take care of us. Where is my wife? Well, if you ask me, I'll say maybe it breaks our hearts seeing you like this. Yes. So maybe it's less painful not to watch the love of our life, not to wait in pain and not be able to do anything about it. Hmm. I see. These things happen sometimes, nurse. And it's not all the time that the other party. is hearty enough to stand by and see it through all the way to the end. But I get it. Clinton, everything will be fine. You need to concentrate more on getting back on your feet again. Trust me, everything will be okay. I'm still surprised how you made me spend the night in this building again. You won't tell me you didn't enjoy it. Are you kidding me? Who wouldn't? I had fun. Uh, baby, baby, see, uh, I'm still believing that you're going to send me the money you promised so I can change my engine. <gasps> you know you don't, what I'm talking about. You will get your money before you get to the mechanic. Oh. And specifically, once I get the money I'm expecting, Ooh. I'll change your car. I believe you, baby. You might believe you. I will always believe you. Um, so, um, the car, pick the car, get to the yeah. mechanic, then you give me a call. It's okay, it's fine. <clears throat> Good morning, ma'am. You're just coming to work, I presume? Yes, ma, it's 7.50 a.m. I always come early. I don't care what they think. I don't care what they say. Anyhow I want, I go live my life. Anyhow, anytime, anywhere. Um, all right, um, you can just go attend. Yeah, what's over? Yeah, what's over? Yeah, what's over? So, what is it? Um, Dr. Jonathan, he gave me a message for you. He said he has been trying to call you and you haven't been answering your calls. So what is it? Go straight to the point. What is it? Um, Mr. O'Connor, his medication has run dry. We would need some money to get more medications. Okay. Okay. Okay, like I heard you. Is there any other thing you want to say? Um, I'm sorry, madam. But this is something we need to arrange now. Yes, ma'am. Because... Ma, he's drifting. And if he doesn't get the right medication and in the right doses, I'm afraid he might die. <laughs> let him die. Let, let him die. He has suffered enough, so just let him go. But, madam... Millicent, trust me. He will thank me later. 
Because what is it? Because he's already drifting away and the three surgeries that he did did not work out. What do you want me to do? Prolong the inevitable? Take my message back to him. Okay, ma'am. Claudia, what is this? He is still your husband. He is dying of the mini shoot against his death. Clinton needs your support. He needs your support. Well, doctor, trust me. This is the best I can do. Why prolong the inevitable? Let me ask you, if it is you or any other member of your family, won't you help the person? Won't you help the person relieve him of, 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 of the pains? Oh, well, well, maybe I would, but not before I've tried my best. It's just a few weeks. A <laughs> few weeks? It's a very long time if you ask me, doctor. See him that way hurts me. It breaks my heart. I don't like to see him that way. That's why I am doing this. You told me he has just less than eight months to leave. And this is four months. What I say? Okay, fine. <laughs> but, but, but get him the necessary medications. Once that can sustain him before the mother gets here. Yeah. Did you call my mother-in-law? Oh, I did. I did. He is her son. Well, I am sorry I promised I wouldn't have called, but she's been so, so worried. And your answers to her this period is not been convincing. Doctor, you got it wrong. You are not supposed to do this. You're not supposed to do something like this without the consent of your patient. Doctor, you know you violated the ethics of your profession as consigned to confidentiality. Yes, there is also a clause for a patient's doctor to inform his family when condition is being stopped on. You know I got this under control. Not this one I've seen this period. Not this one at all. How dare you? How dare you? You had the audacity to keep such a thing from me. He's my son. Most importantly, he's my husband. And I'm taking good care of him, Mama. Sure you have. But I have every right to know that he's going to drop dead anytime and go. Oh my goodness. Are you demented or what? Did you know your responsibilities at all? Mama, Mama, do you know how it feels to see my husband like this? Do you know how it feels? Yes, for fine. I know you hate me, but I love your son. And I've been doing everything to make sure he gets better. Now, what is it? Oh, my son. Mama, 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 please. You have to take it easy now, all right? No, no, this is our fault. Okay, please, this is not our fault. I set this whole thing up. Oh yes, I set it up. To understand the woman that I was living with. And so I disappeared for four months. Disappeared intentionally into thin air. This woman never called for one day. Huh. This woman did not send such team to look for her husband. She assumed that I had died. And all she did was to squander the money that I had left in the family's account. And in less than four months, this woman here had sold off the estate that I built in her. What? <laughs> uh, 
Clinton? Clinton, are you this evil? Only heavens know who the evil one is. For all that you have shown and all that you have become, I have decided to stay away from the woman who already cured me before my time. And so I filed for divorce, Uncle. Claudia saw this divorce coming. I feel so sick remembering all this. Yes. Uncle Longbody, I ask you, why are we all seated here? What is the essence of this meeting? To talk me back? Into taking this woman back into my... No, it's not possible. God saved my life. The first time, I have to save myself. I have found me a very good woman. She I would stay with. This one, no. She had a chance, she blew it. You are a disgrace to manhood and to the institution of marriage. I can't believe you did all this. I still have the nerves to say it cheated on you. I'm really ashamed of you. I'm ashamed of you. She going. Come back here, you daughter of Jezebel. Come and make your claims. You said you would deal with me. I've not started with you yet. Rubbish. When did it deteriorate to this extent? Until she changed. Sure, God exposed her. She planned it out to kill my son. But she is the one that will die. Yes. Every bad egg I grieve. I feel do anything at all. No, just stand on my way. I beg you, hold your hand, device. Oh, I love to raise dust. I love to see people in pain. I love to break people's hearts. I can't believe he played me. He played me. Fell for it. I fell for it. How can I allow such a nice man just slip through my fingers? How could I? For, for what? For just a little, just a little enjoyment. How could I do? How could I do that? Listen. I am so sorry. I, I feel your pain. I really do. But you want me. You want me. But I didn't listen. I, th I thought I was playing the game. I thought I was playing the game. I never knew that. I was there. It was there a fun, fun game. I didn't know. You're about to make mistakes. It's not a mistake. It's not a mistake. Yes, once is a mistake, but severally, it's not a mistake. How how did I get here? How did I get here for what? Just a little enjoyment, just to satisfy my my sexual urge. Just that, and I lost a nice man, my husband, my happiness, my marriage. I ruined my life, my marriage. I lost everything. Just for what? For little enjoyment? How did I do that? How did I... Put yourself together. Claudia, are you crying? Is she crying? What is wrong? Are you okay? What are you doing here? You slut. What are you doing here? You think I don't know? You think I don't know things you've done behind my back? 
Yes, you wanted my husband? And because he did not want you, you checked me? Pulled me to doing everything that I did? That what? is why you advised me wrongly? Diana? Um. You still have the guts to show yourself before me? You tried to seduce my husband, Diane. How could you? Listen, you can do everything to me, but you try to take my man, that's the height of it. And I will not let this slide. Trust me, I'll be back for you. You did all that? Shut up your mouth and help me get up. Help you do what? You deserve more. I'm ashamed of you. How could you? You're very stupid. You are mad. Get out of this place. This stupid shop that does not have AC. I will never come back. Don't come. Betrayer. May the devil punish you. Thunder, fire you. Get out of this place. Sense. Mad woman. I'm really sorry. No, no, it's okay. Yes, I'm sorry. It's fine. I'm used to all this. Don't worry. Thank you. Uncle, it's fine. I totally understand. Uh, most important thing is that you know the truth now. Uh, who wouldn't fall for Claudia's lies uh, with the way she presents it? It, it requires. Um, some <laughs> special devilish skills to do that. But however, uh, we are here today and I believe that I speak everyone's mind when I say that uh, we are happy that the truth is finally out and we hope that she leaves me and mine alone. Uh, I did. Believe me, I am marveled. My daughter, can you please forgive me? I believe that. And I treated you with coldness. Instead of what? Please. It's okay, Uncle. You don't need to apologize. I'm not angry. If anything, I'm just happy that my husband has been able to get this off his chest. And for what is what, I am not her. I will never do anything to hurt him. Please don't hurt him. He's a special <laughs> child. That he is. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank uh, please, you. Uh, try to visit me often again. More often than you expect, Uncle. Mm -hmm. In addition, I have something um, here for you. It's a take this. Uh, use it and get whatever it is that you can get to send to the kids. Uh, please, I'd appreciate it. I won't promise to send more. Tintin, Uncle. Uh, why are you giving me money? You know I am indeed very comfortable. I know that you're very comfortable, but... Um, that's a gift from my heart. You're a very good man, Uncle. And thank you very much for being a good father figure to me. Thank you. May God be with you. Thank you. We should be on our way. I have a flight to catch. I'm glad. I'm glad you All right. All right. Thank you. <laughs> Sorry about. I'm sorry for what you went through. <laughs> it was horrible. I mean, you didn't tell me everything. 
But I knew it was bad. I didn't expect it to be this bad. It was bad. Really bad. You know, I tried. I, I tried to preserve her honor. I tried the best that I could not to taint her image. You know? But she wouldn't let me be. You know, you know, you know, I had cameras in that house. Oh yes. I had cameras everywhere, all of them connected to my mobile device so I could see all she was doing. It broke me. It broke me. Yet I kept all of that to myself and even during the divorce settlement, I left that particular house for her. Left money for her, enough money to take care of herself and start something up for herself. You know, I gave her a fair settlement, but she still won't let me be. She kept coming for my soul to the point where I had no other option but to. As you know, do what I did. You're a good man, Clinton. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yes, not all men will be able to do what you did. You were good to her. You were a good husband to her. She was the one who didn't know your words until the end. Yes, you had your own flaws. But you were a good man. Did I tell you that she wanted a particular lifestyle? Yeah, but luckily I, God blessed me and I had the money to give her the kind of life that she wanted. And uh, I give Claudia everything. But that woman stretched me beyond my limits. She stretched me. supposed to say this right now but I can't help it I want you to know that I would never ever do the things that she did come on now don't talk about yourself baby I know you huh I know you I know you inside out I'm so glad that you knew everything that she was doing yet you kept all of that to yourself because you wanted to preserve her image. Now that says a lot about the woman that you are. That is why I would love you forever. You know, sometimes I wonder how I became your nurse, then your friend, and now your wife. And not just my wife. The best wife that any man can possibly pray for but the best my darling and my love for you would never die I will also love you forever because you're my love my fate and my happiness <laughs> thank you baby Okay. Many saints. I am trying to be. It still hurts too much. 
every time I think about how she treated him and listening to him narrating it again it's just too much she wrecked him yes she did for once I thought I feared he would never recover from it again but mom he did Clinton is a strong man he has put everything behind him and has moved on. I cursed the day he met that girl. But you used to love her. Yes, because I never wanted to be one of those mother-in-laws who will always make life miserable for their son's wife. I was prepared to manage her. But she started giving attitude. Everything started changing. In fact, I hate her now. I feel like strangling her to death. <sighs> yes. Well, we may have to look at it from another angle. How do you mean? I think God designed it to be this way. Yes, I mean... <sighs> how else would I have met him if not this way? Uh, no, don't get me wrong. As much as I am mad at Claudia for putting him through everything. But mom, I still thank her for the man he is now. Millicent. Millicent. She has nothing to do with it. He's become a good man because of you. I owe you an apology. Because of the way I treated you. Yes. No. You don't owe me an apology. I'm sure you were only trying to protect your son from a nurse who was possibly trying to reap from where she did not sow. Anyone in their right senses would do the same. I hold no grudge against you. I understand you, my dear. But I was wrong and completely out of line. I was afraid for my son. He fell for a woman once as she wrecked him. I was thinking you would do the same. Late for me, he wouldn't be married by now. But I thank God he broke me and he brought you into his life. And I'm sorry for any way that I have offended you. Like I said, you haven't offended me. I'm sure if I'm in your shoes, I would do the same. Yes. I forgive you. You're my mother after all. Hmm? Thank you. Much pains and tragedies, huddles on my way. Sisters and tongues, wickedness all around. Despite the arrows, yet we stand. Despite the sorrows, our love is strong. You're my love, my faith, my happiness. You're everything. You said you want to be left alone. 
but I just couldn't let you be. Especially at this state you are right now. Jen, I'm fine. I know you are. But right now you're emotionally wrecked. Even psychologically. I mean, it's written all over you. Can't you see? Gender. That man has ruined me. He ruined me. He is thought cameras all over this house. Oh my God. Connected it to his phones. Everything I did with those boys, he has videos of them. <gasps> and from the, and from what he told me, he has moved them to another device. Oh my God. Kept them where I would not see them, where I don't even know Jen. So tell me, what is your fear? That he will leak those videos to get back at you? Hmm? Jen. Jen, I am. I am devastated. Well, he said he wouldn't do that. He has just crippled me with this evidence. But seriously, from all honesty, this, this, this is really wrong. This is totally wrong. I mean, how can a man wire his own wife just like that? This is an irresponsible he did thing not, to do. He did not wire me. He didn't wire me. He wired this house that was his at that time. Ah. But he dismantled everything before leaving. Jim, but the damage has been done already. <laughs> Where do I just start to remedy it? Where? Claudia. <sighs> I am not saying I understand everything. But one thing for sure. I am right here for you. Anytime you need me. Trust me, I am here for you. Okay. Jim, thank you. Thank you. If, if I had known, I would have listened to you all these years. I wouldn't have been in this mess. I wouldn't have destroyed my perfect marriage. For what? People are bound to make mistakes, my dear. But the most important thing is this. What do we learn from those mistakes? Okay, don't start now judging yourself, please. I don't, I don't need that, come on. Vicky, don't do that. You're gonna be fine, all right? You're going to be fine. We're in this together. I am not leaving you alone, okay? <sighs> Meanwhile, um, Dorothy has been coming around. Yes. <sighs> Stop. I don't want to hear that name. I do not need her. Do me a favor, tell her to stay far away from me. Far away. Please, I beg you. But she's still your friend. Listen, misunderstanding is a normal thing between friends. She really wants to apologize. But I do not need her apology. I don't. <sighs> So not. Is everything okay? Oh no, no, no. This is going to be good. So hot. What is it? It's very unlike you to show up here without even letting me know. Is there a problem? Babe, what is it? What's the problem? OK, 
Clinton. Yes. In all honesty, I don't think this silence treatment is the best way to follow your ex. <sighs> Claudia again. Yes. What did she do? She has been trailing me all day. From where I went to play long tennis to where I went to buy food stuff. What? What did she confront you? Like how 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 did you know she was trailing you? Did, did you two have a confrontation? First, I noticed a taxi with a tinted glass following me. Okay. Then I decided to drive into a gas station. Okay. The taxi drove into the gas station as well. So I decided to confront her. Oh, so, so you met her then? Yeah. What did she say? Nothing. She claimed to be going about her business, but uh, that is a big lie. Ah, uh, we know. Clinton, this silence option is not working. We need to teach Claudia a bitter lesson. Baby. I'm sorry. I know you're upset. And you should be. But please, let me appeal to you. For the last time, ignore Claudia. She's gonna get tired of this theatrics and just leave you alone. You, you see, see the way you are right now? That's what she wants. Don't give it to her. She will get tired and leave you alone. Believe me. Please, baby. I hope, I, I hope she stops. She will. She will. And tragedies, huddles on our ways. High mountains, thistles and tongues, wickedness all around. Despite the arrows, yet we stand. Despite the sorrows, My sister, I can finally have some peace of mind. <laughs> yes, I can finally close my two eyes and sleep at night without having any worries. Mm -hmm. oh. You deserve it. Oh, yes. You really do. <laughs> do you know what it feels like to go straight two weeks without having her shadow locking around me or this house? It's a miracle. I, I understand. <sighs> I truly understand what you mean. <laughs> Meanwhile, how does Clinton feel about this? Clinton? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm sure he has never slept this good this past week. Yes. Besides, I think him looking at the defeated face of Claudia gave him the push that he needed. Mm -hmm. And permanently shall it remain. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> like Amen. Big, big, big amen to that. You two deserve to be happy. <sighs> Nothing is going to ever come between you two again. Amen, my sister. <laughs> amen. Um, babe, you know now, you know I'm not really an ice cream person. Mm. Mm -hmm. It's very nice. Try it. What's wrong? Like, you haven't even touched it. Um, mm, red wine will go down with me. <laughs> you know. Red wine will go down with you. Anna, you haven't changed. You and alcohol. Mm -hmm. <laughs> anyway, I'm sure you know the way to the fridge. Actually, I do. Help yourself. <laughs> Continue with this. Thank you. I will. <laughs> Come on, Dana. You don't have to blame yourself. It has happened to so many women. Some would be months on and would not even know. I wonder how Millicent reacts when I tell her of this good news. She will be happy for you, of course. Are you sure? She is. You know, I was with her in her house, and I still did not tell her of the good news. And that's because you were not aware. You just found it. I believe if you tell her, she will understand. Do you think I, I should call her or probably go there tomorrow and tell her? 
Well, I will advise you to do whatever your heart tells you. But if I were you, I would keep it to myself. Seriously? Yes. Why should I not tell Millicent? <laughs> you know how demonic the human heart is. Millicent has been believing God for her own pregnancy and it has not even happened. And here you are, already pregnant. Well, I just feel if you tell her, she might not really be happy with you. And she will start wishing you to miscarry. Cynthia, don't say that. Millicent, my friend, will never wish me evil. She has a heart of an angel. Don't say that. I dare trust no one. Just a friendly advice. Millicent, you will not believe that I have not retired to bed yet. We are still seated in the living room because something big just happened. <sighs> it's Ada, it's New Year Day today for you to be calling me at this ungodly time of the night. I will advise you to leave wherever you are, go to somewhere very serene so you will not shake the pillars of your house because I'm about to break something, break a news that will shake the pillars of your house. <laughs> Really? Oh. Okay. Give me a minute. Oh. Mm -hmm. Realize that it's late, as in midnight. Innocent, control yourself. I trust you and I know that we will not do anything bad, right? Yeah, and no matter how far I am from the bedroom, he'll certainly hear me. You do realize that he'll certainly hear me. Hmm? Okay, tell me, what is the news? I, I, um, listen, you're going to be an aunt. What? <laughs> yes, I just found out now. I was feeling somehow and my friend Cynthia advised I ran a test and it came out positive. <laughs> I'm going to be a mother. <laughs> for you. Congratulations, darling. I'm so... Have you told Josh? No, not yet, but I will, t I'm, I will tell him in the morning. Okay, no, I will tell him right away. I am sure he will be so excited to hear the news. <laughs> He has waited all his life for this particular moment. And a kick as mother of that. Oh my god. I'm so happy for you. You know what you're gonna do? Go in there now and tell daddy that baby is on the way. Are <laughs> you? Claudia! What are you 
you doing here? What do you, what do you want? Millicent? Wait, Claudia, Mi Millicent, Millicent! Give me the phone. Give me the phone! Now! Why are you doing this? What are you doing this for, Claudia? Well, we'll find out very soon. Why don't you just sit? Sit down! I know you wouldn't want it, right? Who are you? Good question. Someone who has come to fuck your life. Now, get up! Get up! Don't, don't, don't shoot, don't, don't shoot. Get up! Don't, don't shoot me, please. Don't shoot. Don't shoot. Get up, please. Please, please. Up! Please, I'll move. Please. If you try any nonsense, I'm gonna blow. Come on, move! Listen, Zana. This is not ordinary. You need to wake your husband. What can you do? I am aware he has the numbers of those officers by Millicent Junction. Tell him to call them to go there now. They will listen to a man more. That Claudia is there and can tell all is not well. All is not well. Go. She has a role to play. Tega. What? Don't try any shit. Move. <laughs> Don't try any shit. To marry him, you dummy. Of course, you're divorcing him. No, I won't. You will. No, I won't. He's my husband, and he's been nothing but good to me. So I am sorry I will not divorce my husband. You can go ahead and do whatever you like. Alright? 
put it down. Just, just put the gun down, please. Put the gun down. Claudia, put the gun Quentin. down. Just, just put it down. Put it down. Let's sort this out. Just put it down. Clinton, you have five seconds to sign this paper. And where I want you to sign it. I'm not going to... Else I will blow off your brain. I can't do it. I won't do it. All right? You are now done. Don't, don't coerce me into doing this. I would not do it. We are done. All right? I will be listening. Now, that, that's it. Please, put the gun down. She will be yours when and if I say so. You have the count of five. Else I will blow off your brain. I'm not joking. Please, I'm begging you. Please, 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 just be reasonable. This time, please, this one time. Please, what you will start again. Please, don't do this. Please, I don't care. Please, please, please. I haven't been leaving well anyway, so what is it? Listen, 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 listen. You are going to lose way more than you have again. For if you do this, please, please, just, just put the gun down. Please, I beg you. One. Claudia, please. Please, I beg you, put it down. All right? Forcing me to sign this because you're pointing a gun at me with you no fruits. You're, you're not foolish. You know how these things work. Please, put it down. Just put it down. Let's sort things out. Please. Two. Claudia, please, I beg you. Put down your weapon. Drop your gun. Drop it. Drop it. Please, you should drop it. Drop your weapon, brother. Drop. Officers, this is not your business. Stay away from this. This man right here is my husband and this is a family business. Leave me alone. Stay away. We need to settle this here. Woman, of put that woman down. Listen to them. Put it down. Claudia, come on. Put it down, woman. Tormenting me all this while, finally died. Well, she died in our home. <clears throat> I understand. I don't know how I'm supposed to leave and raise this child in that house. You 
know I'm beginning to lose count of how many times I have told you that your happiness is my priority. I hear you. And to take care of your fears. I'll move us out of that house and put it up for sale. And I promise to buy us another home before this beautiful bundle of joy arrives. Okay? You don't have to follow me to the office every day. I'm going to call my friend who is a real estate agent and get him to find us some very nice service apartment somewhere in town. Somewhere you'd like. Uh, I'll allow you to make the pick. So we just be there until we buy ourselves a new home mm. where we can live as one happy family. Thank you so much, babe. You're welcome. You go through all this stress for me, baby. It's not stress. If it makes you happy, it is not stress. I love you. I love you too. You know, it makes me fulfilled um, remembering what you said even at gunpoint. That you belonged to me. And <laughs> there was no way you were going to leave me. Thanks for that assurance. You're welcome. Those were words from my heart, you know. I gave you my word, baby. I'm not going anywhere. You and I are inseparable. Claudia tried to separate us and died in the process. No one would separate us. Nothing. I'll be here for you. I'm with you. Forever. For you are my love, my fate, and my happiness. You're my love, my fate, I love my you. happiness. You're everything I need. I you. You're my love, my fate, my happiness. You are. Instead of hatred, all I see is love. 